In this channel, I've shown you how to create videos using text. I've shown you how to create a song just from using your words. I've shown you how to make a completely generated video complete with pictures and subtitles and editing using just a prompt. And I've shown you how to edit your videos and pictures using AI. Well, today we're going to be taking a look at Runway, a site that combines everything all in one. But more specifically, we're going to be taking a look at their Gen 3 video prompt model, where we're going to take several prompts and then turn them into 5 to 10 second videos just like that. Let's dive in. So Runway has been around for a bit, but recently it's updated to its Gen 3 model, which has made everything that it's done in the past even better, more responsive, easier to use. Other websites that I've used like Pika and Playground can do text to video. Generative audio has come from things like Eleven Labs. Removing backgrounds have come from websites like Canva that I've used in the past. Text to images like Imagram. Clean audio and remove silences. Websites like Gling have done that as well. But as you're noticing, these are websites that have specific purposes. Runway has them all in one spot. Now, before we get started, I would highly recommend taking a look at this article right here that says prompting guide. I'll link it in the description below. But basically what this is telling you is all the things that would make a good prompt. So take a look at this prompt if you plan on using Runway yourself and it'll tell you everything from how to structure the prompt, the keywords in order to use, and it's got this whole list of keywords. All right, close up, point of view, 50 millimeter lens, camcorder, dynamic shot, slow motion, exploding warps, things along those lines. If you wanna take a look at this list on your own, I'm gonna scroll and you can pause it at any time. Do 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 do, do 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 do. Do 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 Movement speeds, movement top, and styles, and aesthetics. Then we're done. The first thing I'm going to show you guys how to do is just a seamless transition. So I'm literally going to copy and paste their prompting, and I'm going to post it in here. And I'm just going to replace some of their words. So that says continuous hyperspeed first person view footage. The camera seamlessly flies through a glacial canyon to a dreamy cloudscape. I could generate this and down here I can change it from 10 seconds to five seconds. Let's just make it five for now. I'm going to change glacial canyon to I can even save my prompts, which is kind of cool if I want to use this prompt more often instead of going over here and copying pasting every time. I can literally just save it. I can name it transition shot and save it. So now if I want to do a transition shot, it'll come up with this right away. So let me generate this. And from their own website, it says that it should take about 60 seconds to create a five second video and about 90 seconds to create a 10 second video. So after about 60 seconds, this is what Runaway has come up with. Now, remember my prompt was a mountainous valley to our Milky Way galaxy. You can kind of see it here. A little bit of the mountains coming up here, but mostly stars and galaxy. So you can kind of see where this is going. So you start with the mountains going up to the galaxy, and that's it. Now from here, I can do several things. I can rate it so that Runway knows how it did. I can download it. I can favorite it so that I can see it over here on the left side. The next scene that I want to try to do is the title card scene. So what I'm going to try to recreate is my own YouTube channel. I'm going to try to see if AI can turn my YouTube name into a dynamic movement. So what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to just copy and paste the prompting guide over here. And I'm going to change what it says in order for AI to write I am Lagana instead of Runway. So I'm going to come over here and change this to I am... Actually, I'm going to make it all caps. Lagana. A title screen with dynamic movement. The scene starts as a colorful painted wall. So now that I've copy and pasted the prompt and changed the runway sign to I am Lagana, I'm, I'm going to see if it can make me a title screen. So this is a title screen with dynamic movement. The scene starts at a colorful paint covered wall. 
Suddenly, black paint pours on the wall to form the word I am Lagana. The dripping paint is detailed, textured, centered, superb, cinematic lighting. Right here is the style, right? It's centered, which is the camera movement. Here is describing how the word is, right, with dripping paint. So I'm not going to change any of this. I want to see how it does. I want to see since Lagana is not a word, I want to see if it'll actually properly get that and get my name correctly on the first try. But let's click generate. I'm going to make this into five seconds. Since there is no sound design or music in the background, we're just going to keep this and see how it does. Not going to lie, that was pretty cool. So the end product spelled my name perfectly. I am Lagana, all in spelled ink. I love this prompting guide because it did exactly what I wanted it to do and it did it correctly and i never would have known to have superb lighting i never would have thought of putting my name in quotation marks and they're small things and you've done prompting before in past websites you might have known that but for me not having a background in design and not using this kind of ai tool to its fullest potential yet i loved that runway gives you an entire full prompting guide and i can get more ridiculous with this right i could try tracking i could do any of these movements i could do any of these textiles if i wanted to change the text right and make it graffiti i love the way that the prompting guy gives you everything you need in order to make yourself successful now let's do one final shot but this time with a human in the picture instead ai has gotten to the point now that it's become almost indistinguishable from real life in terms of pictures and still images. I want to see how advanced and accurate and realistic their human models are. So for this scenario, I'm going to copy the prompt right from their website again. It starts out with a low angle static shot. The camera is angled up at a woman wearing all orange as she stands in a tropical rainforest with colorful flora. The dramatic sky is overcast and gray. So they put in this prompt so you would think that if you, if I generate it right from here, that it'll be Perfect. So instead, I'm going to change a few things, turn it around to see how well and accurate this really is. So this is my prompt. So what I'm looking for is obviously how accurate it's getting the prompts. Is she staring at a fun house? Is it bright and sunny? But also, I want to see how accurate the model actually is. Does it look any bit realistic? For this shot, I am going to keep it at 10 seconds this time because I do want it to pan all the way around and see everything that i'm asking it to do so right off the bat it is looking pretty realistic with the flowers the fun house with the or the fairgrounds with the merry-go-round on the back so let's see it is panning around her slowly and it looks like that fun house right there is kind of what i asked it to do i do want to do one more just to see how it does faces but the body shot of her looks pretty good so i changed it a little bit i did mention that she is now facing the camera i said that it does a full 360 turn and i said that she's wearing a floral shirt instead of that the fairground has floral designs so now let's generate it and see what it comes up with I want to see what it changes. This seems so much more user friendly than previous websites that I've used. So this is what Runway has come up with. Right off the bat, she is wearing an orange floral shirt. I see that she's staring at the fairgrounds. We'll see if this is a fun house. The only thing that I noticed that it hasn't done, which is why I changed this in the first place, is that I don't, she's not facing the camera. So we'll see in the next 10 seconds if this actually does the full 360 so that we can see her face so it's panning around and around and it's starting to show her face and there you go so it does end up showing her face it's not she's not facing the camera right away but she does face it in the end and honestly it looks pretty good there is like this part right here that's kind of glitched in and of itself other than right here the facial features look pretty good right like right here's a little smudged the ear is not completely formed but i'd still say it's a good like 90 95 percent of the way there this could be straight as a fun house it kind of gives that that vibe off roller coasters in the background or ferris wheel perhaps so that is runways gen 3 model this still is in the alpha phase so it will continue to get better as all ai does i hope you enjoyed please leave a like comment and subscribe and i will catch you next time